Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we are going to learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro Project Panel. Yes, you have to use Project Panel a lot if you are using Adobe Premiere Pro to edit your video. So here in Adobe Premiere Pro, you can see I have already opened a project and that we are going to work today, right? I will put a link in the description below of this exact same project so that you can download the project and you can open it in Adobe Premiere Pro and you can follow along with me. I'm currently using Adobe Premiere Pro 2023 version. So if you are not using this version, maybe you are not able to open the file. I'll highly suggest you to upgrade your Adobe Premiere Pro so that we can follow together, right? So here in my timeline, you can see there are two videos, right? And this is the project panel. So the project panel is not visible clearly. I don't use the editing workspace a lot. You can see I am currently in editing workspace. If I reset the layout, you'll see this is the editing workspace you'll get by default with adobe premiere pro most of the time i use my custom workspace but you can also use the essential workspace which is this one click here on this essential then this workspace will load and you can easily work with different panels together if you're using this workspace and i highly recommend you to use this one right so this is our project panel there are three folder here in my project panel you can see and the view is currently thumbnail view right if i click here the view will change to list view so if you are comfortable to work with list view then you can click list view and from here you can navigate to your video right and now if i double click on any folder it will open in a new tab right just like this one this is our base project panel and this is the folder that we have opened right but you can change that if you press ctrl and then if you double click it will open here on the same tab right and you can just click here to get back to your main window right also you can change that from edit preference and click general and from here you can change the behavior when you are double clicking here on this project panel how will it behave right so here you can see there is an option under general panel which is bins from bins you can change double click i'll select it open in place so that i don't need to go to a new tab i don't like that and from here you can change this one maybe you can change it to open in new tab and you can change it to open in a new window right just like this one so click ok and now if you double click here it will not open in a new tab it will open inside this project panel and you can also get back to your main folder and again you can change the view here if you want to have thumbnail view you can increase the size of the thumbnail just like this one if you want to uh, get a better view if you open any folder so this is my camera folder this is my stock clip folder if i double click here i can open it and now i can change the preview of this videos right and if i click and drag this side then the work area of this project window will increase and i will decrease the size maybe this much so that i can see three different clips at once right and there are also another preview which is free from view if you click here now you can freely move the clip suppose you want to organize the clips as your story right in that kind of scenario you can use the free from view if you click on the tilde key which is this one click here then you'll see a full preview of this panel and now you can organize the clip suppose you want to use this clip first maybe this is the second one maybe this is the third one this is the fourth one this is the fifth one right so you have organized the clip just like this one so that you can have an idea how you want to put the clip together right again press the tilde key to disable the full screen view and now you can see this is the clip that you have organized and from here you can use the clips very easily just like this one now let's see how you can know which clip you have used on your timeline right here on this project panel you can see this clip has a blue icon here right because this clip have been used on my timeline here you can see this is the clip that we have used this is the exact clip that we have used right but this clip doesn't have any blue mark and you can easily know just by watching the blue mark that you haven't used that clip right so if you click and drag it here so we have used it on our timeline and now you'll see the icon have been changed to a blue color right and when you're scrolling if you click on this clip you can select the clip and you can press the space bar to play back the clip so that you can have an idea about this clip and if you want to select an in point and out point of this clip then you can just scroll and maybe you want to use this clip from here then you can press i on your keyboard it will have in point here and again maybe you want to have out point here you can press o here so now if i click and drag this clip you can see we have just imported a selected portion of that clip so you can easily make in point and out point 
from the project panel every time you don't need to double click here to open it on the source monitor and from here you don't need to select the endpoint at out point you can directly do that from the project panel right and lastly this is the filter option sometimes you will use a lot of clips on your project panel right and maybe you are not able to find the clip in that kind of scenario you can filter out the clip right if you want to filter out using the name you can select the name then you will see the clips have been organized using the name right again you can use different tags to filter the clips here on your project panel so that's it that is how you can have a better experience in adobe premiere pro when you are working on the project panel right so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye